What's up guys, this is Rack and Load and this may look awfully like a previous video I did but it's another Christiansen Arms out of box. Look at, and this one, the previous one was the Mesa so don't worry, you're tuned into the correct video. This one is the Ridgeline 65 Creedmoor, this one is. Let's just take it out and have a look. Ooh, yes, I'm... I'm kind of liking this one a bit more than the Mesa, but I dare say this has got a bigger price tag. What with a bit of added carbon fiber, you know, usually that does affect uh, pricing. But, oh yeah, that is light. Ooh, I'm liking that heavy profile barrel. Carbon fiber wrapped. Oh yes, that's very pretty. Let's get the bolt out and take a look. Well, first of all, in the box you get a welcome card to Christensen Arms. Oh, you get a sticker as well. That's nice. And there's the manual. Um, like I said in the previous video, yeah, the manual needs a bit more, a bit more colour in it, if you ask me. But uh, let's have a look at the bolt. Oh, blimey, you get a massive muzzle brake, pepper pot style muzzle brake. Love that. Uh, let's have a look at the bolt, fluted bolt, same styling as the Mesa with the uh, holes cut in the bolt handle just to shave weight off uh, this rifle. Let's put the bolt in and let's move this box out of the way. Get the gone box, there we go, let's take a look at this thing. Mmm, nice. Bit more of a subtle Artex in on the uh, stock, as I like to call it. It's like a splattery uh, finish on the on the stock. I think this stock is, I think it's a polymer. It's hard to tell, actually. Do you know what? I'm not even sure. I've literally got this thing out of the box. Um, I will put details in the video. But I'm guessing it's some sort of uh, polymer stroke carbon fiber because this thing is so, so light. Love the look of that. Don't you think carbon fiber just looks cool on a barrel? I mean, does it have any effect though on the, obviously the tensioning of the barrel? It certainly does have an effect with air guns. Um, whether it does have an effect on firearms, it's, it's, remains to be seen as far as my sort of experimentation has uh, been concerned in the past. But yeah, like that, that's more my style that is than the Mesa. I just, uh, I just like it a heavy, I say heavy, heavy in looks, not in weight. Let's just try that trigger. Yeah, nice trigger. Again, floor plate. So no detachable magazine because this is a hunting rifle uh, in 6.5 Creedmoor, ultra lightweight. Do like that. Something a little bit different. I know there are a lot of hunting rifles out there at the minute. You know, you've got Tika and you've got Bagara and you've got Seekins and Howard. Uh, they're all doing sort of carbon fiber um, like rifles if that makes sense but uh, no I'm liking this I've shot a Christensen Arms rimfire in the past so I'm looking forward to uh, to trying one of these out center fire be uh, be quite nice so but no just an out of box look guys at the Christensen Arms ridgeline very very nice indeed Anyway, I'm going to leave it at that. Thanks for watching, guys. That is Rack and Load. See ya.